Hello and welcome back to my vlog. In this vlog, I have decided to share with you my watercolor materials that I have incurred over the past years. So let's start right away. Okay, so let's start with my mixing palettes. Currently, I have three. I have actually misplaced and lost some of my mixing palettes and I if I will be joining those in the count, I can say that I have had around 6 to 8 mixing palettes. But anyways, these are my mixing palettes and as you can see, they are very used and are still being used. This one, which is the smallest, um, this is an inclusion from the first watercolor workshop that I had joined early this year by teacher Casey. I can actually do six color mixings in here and I have also used this for acrylic and as you can see the acrylic paints had already dried up so I am not or I am seldomly using this for watercolor paintings. This one I bought from National Bookstore compared to the previous one it has deeper wells and at the center you can put water for cleaning your brushes and then each petal or each well can hold or you can do two mixings so as a total you can do six color mixings and then this last one which is my most used mixing palette has eight in wells where i put my watercolor paints and then it has additional five portions for mixing Okay, so that's it. These are all my watercolor mixing palette, which is an essential material when you are doing watercolor paintings. Now on to the next. So my second essential watercolor material are the different tapes that I have been using for my watercolor paintings. This one is the usual masking tape or paper tape that I bought from National Bookstore. So as you can see, this is a cheap essential material for watercolor. It only costs 9.75 pesos. Now this one is a transparent tape which I can tear off or cut easily without using scissors and it's also good for watercolor paintings, for doing borders, etc. So here are my washi tapes. This washi tapes or these two washi tapes I bought for around 50 pesos each. So compared to the masking tape and the transparent tape, these are a more expensive option. And then here I have another set of washi tapes and the prints are so cute. I bought this from a shop in Shopee. I'm going to link it on the description box below if you want to check. The third essential watercolor material that I will be showing you are my brush collections. These are my first ever watercolor brushes. So it comes in a set of five. And as you can see, I have lost one member of the set. And this has been with me for about six years already. And it's actually a brush set by Montmartre. So the sizes in the set are 0, 4, 8, 12 and 16 so I'm losing the number 4 brush so it's actually a brush set by Montmartre and I think it's not really for watercolor I guess it's intended for acrylic but it's a good beginner watercolor brush My next watercolor brush is the Zen Brush Set by Tokyo Finds. 
This is a really good beginner brush. I got this as an inclusion from the workshop I joined earlier this year together with a green mixing palette that I have showed, shown you a while ago. This set actually has five brushes in it, so as you can see, I misplaced again another brush. But I have here the same brush set which I bought prior to the workshop. So if you are a beginner in watercolor, I really recommend this brush set. So this cost 199 pesos, and if you have a very limited or tight budget, you can choose to buy their three um, membered Zen brush set for just 99 pesos. Okay, so this third brush set that I have, um, I bought this from Shopee and it only costs about 169 pesos. But I actually seldom use them because it's not as good as my Zen brushes by Tokyo Finds. But it's cheaper and it has a lot of brushes. The sizes of the brush ranges from 1 to 12. So this next brush is not a part of a set. I can't really remember its brand, but I bought it from National Bookstore again. It's a detailer brush size 0, and I have been using this for brush letterings. I bought this way back 2017. This next brush by Prang is a size 6 round brush, which is an inclusion from the Prang watercolor paint set. I haven't actually used this as much compared to the other brushes that I have shown you since this is newly acquired. Okay, so these two brushes I actually bought again from a shop in Shopee, Salamat Shopee. But I actually don't use them as much because I actually don't like them as much. But this larger one, I have learned to like it just recently because I have used it for my wet on wet backgrounds and it really create and it really helps me to create a nice gradient background. Next are my Berkeley brushes from National Bookstore. You can actually buy them individually. They are not that expensive. I guess it ranges from 20 to 50 pesos depending on the size of these round brushes. I often use these brushes for my watercolor brush letterings and for my floral bookmarks. And here are my recent favorites, the Princeton brushes. These are on the more expensive side, but these are really nice brushes. It is composed of two types of brushes, so there are three round brushes and three shader brushes. If you have watched my previous vlog on creating a watercolor chart, the shader brush that I used in that vlog is actually from this set. Next, um, I have here my Isabe round brush size 6 that I bought from a shop called Artisan Manila. It's also a nice brush, but I'm still not used to this brush, so I need to practice more on how to use this brush more efficiently, but it actually has a nice feel. And the last brush, which probably is the most expensive brush that I bought so far, is my silver brush size 4, which I have been using a lot more recently.
wait there's more actually i know i said last already but here is another brush collection which are my water brushes this watercolor brushes that I have are actually being used for brush lettering. The nice thing about these brushes is that it has a barrel that can hold water for cleaning the brush tips. Or you can also put liquid watercolor paints or liquid inks inside this barrel and you will just squeeze it out. This watercolor brushes usually comes in three sizes, which pertains to the size of the brush tips. It can be fine, medium, and large. This one is a Sakura Koi watercolor brush. And the last one, which is my most favorite watercolor brush, is a watercolor brush by Zig. The fourth essential watercolor material that I will be showing you are my watercolor papers. This watercolor paper is actually a freebie from a watercolor paint set that I bought. This is a paper by Canson and if you have watched one of my previous watercolor vlog, you would be seeing me trying out this watercolor paper by Canson. The next watercolor paper that I have is curated by Abby C in partnership with Ganson. I've just recently filled this up so there are no more empty sheets available for painting in this watercolor pad. This is a pretty decent watercolor paper that can be used for painting and watercolor brush lettering. I really can't remember the price but I think it's between 100 to 200 pesos. This next watercolor paper is probably my most bought watercolor paper before 2020. It's cheap and it's good for beginners and for students who have a very limited budget. This is from National Bookstore and it's only 65 pesos. It is 200 GSM which can allow you to do some layerings also. This next watercolor paper is by Corona but I actually don't use it for paintings and I don't really recommend it so it's just 79 pesos it's 12 by 12 inches and it's only 190 GSM um, what I use it for is when I practice my watercolor brush lettering and here is an example of a practice piece that I did or a drill using this watercolor paper the next watercolor paper that I will be showing you is my most recommended watercolor paper for students on a very tight budget. It is the Fabriano 200 GSM watercolor paper. It is a usual sized watercolor paper, 9 by 12, and this pack contains 10 sheets. It is still on the cheap side because it costs 70 pesos from National Bookstore, but if you will be buying it online it will cost around 90 to 100 pesos so i actually have a lot of this because i bought a lot pre-covid so i still have a lot in stock okay next is a watercolor paper that i bought from shopee so this is the george own watercolor pad It actually comes with a free brush, a water brush, and a paper clip. I haven't used this yet, but I've already tried the watercolor paper. Here is an example of a piece that I was able to make using this watercolor paper. I don't really like it that much because I can't do a lot of layering and it's not really good for wet on wet technique. And it's also not that thick. Okay, so the next watercolor paper is by 
Berkeley. It's actually a watercolor pad. I've had this with me since 2018 and I haven't filled it up yet because I was not too active prior 2020. It's thinner compared to the Canson and Fabriano watercolor papers that I have but I like this because it has a nice feel and whenever I practice painting florals in here, I end up creating nice pieces. So next is my Canson watercolor pad. It has the same properties with the loose Canson watercolor paper sheets. It's also 200 GSM. However, this pad contains 24 sheets. Here's a quick view or glimpse of some of my works using this paper. And as you can see, it has some perforations per sheet, so when you tear off a page, it will come out easily and nicely. The next watercolor papers that I will show you are my unused watercolor papers, so I haven't tried them yet. So the first one is the watercolor pad by Fabriano. It also contains 24 sheets, but the difference is that this is a nicer watercolor paper since it's made up of 25% cotton, making it hold more or absorb more water. So the higher the cotton content, the better the watercolor paper. And that's also the reason why it's more expensive. So this pad costs 226 pesos and it's also from National Bookstore. Next is another watercolor paper by Canson. These are loose sheets of watercolor paper and this is on the more expensive side meaning it's also a better quality paper. So this is 270 GSM. It's also good for um, gouache, acrylic, and watercolor paper. So let's take a closer look of what the paper looks like. Okay, according to the packaging, the texture of the paper is a snowy green or a cloud-shaped texture. The reason why I haven't tried using this finer watercolor papers is because I'm still not that confident to paint on them. I think I will just be wasting the paper if I will be trying to paint on them. But I know that one of these days, I will be trying to use this watercolor paper and I think I will be sharing with you about it on my next vlogs. I have here another Canson watercolor paper. This is a thicker paper because it is 300 GSM, so I expect that I can do a lot of layerings with this paper. This pack and the previous one both contains 5 sheets. So the texture of this paper is the usual one. Um, it's, it has a rough texture and it's also cold pressed. Okay, so these are all my watercolor papers. Now next, for the finale, I will be showing you my collection of watercolor paints good for beginners or students. Let's start with the first watercolor brand that I bought which is the Pentel Watercolor. So this one comes in 18 colors so it is in tubes. Um, the first watercolor or the Pentel Watercolor that I bought as far as I remember um, the tubes are made up of um, metal finish. This one is already in plastic tubes. I actually have another set of Pentel watercolor, this time in 12 colors, and this is an inclusion from the watercolor workshop that I have joined. And if you will be buying this from art stores, it will cost around 300 pesos or more. 
My next watercolor um, is the Symbalion Watercolor Cakes in 36 colors. This was actually bought by my sister from an art fair way back 2016. And I use this usually for my watercolor calligraphy. It has really nice colors or nice pastel colors, but I don't actually use it for my watercolor paintings because it's chalky. If I can remember it correctly, I guess this watercolor costs between 100 to 200 pesos, so I can say it is budget friendly for students. However, I don't really recommend it for beginners because of its chalkiness. My next watercolor set is the Bento Picasso watercolor set by Tokyo Pines. Um, it costs around 700 to 800 pesos. It comes in a metal tin container. And this watercolor paint is actually nice because it's pigmented, so I use this a lot also. It has 18 colors. It has a lot of blues, yellows, and greens. Next is my basic watercolor set. This set comes in 12 ammo tubes and has 12 colors. This is actually a very cheap watercolor, so it is really budget friendly. It costs about 161 pesos, and the quality of the watercolor paint is actually nice. It's a little bit chalky, but you can actually make nice color combinations and paintings with this. So, this is how it looks. My next watercolor set is the Lufo Aquarel 12 colors, which also comes in tubes. I have bought this last year and I have only used it twice. It's a nice beginner watercolor, so if you have more budget, you can choose to buy this because it's around 500 pesos. I bought this from National Bookstore and it comes with a free watercolor paper. So my next watercolor is a solid set of 24 watercolor by Sakura Koi. So the watercolors are contained in this white plastic container with this design. Inside this container, you will be seeing a mixing palette. And this watercolor palette is detachable. You can put it this way, or this way, or this way. But what I usually do is that I put the mixing palette on top. And then it also comes with a free Sakura Koi brush or watercolor brush. Next is my most recent purchase, my Pibeo Aquarels in half pants. I am not actually a fan of this watercolor. I don't know, I just don't really like it. But I know I have to use it because I have bought it already and it would be a waste. So I just have to work with it. Next, I have here two sets of watercolors that I bought from Shopee, the Superior Watercolor and an unbranded metallic watercolor set. Um, this one, I actually use it for my watercolor calligraphy. It's nice to use on black paper. And in this one here, I actually haven't used it yet, but I have already swatched this watercolor. And I can say that I have liked how pigmented most of the colors are. So it's almost the same size as my Pibeo watercolor half pants. What I also liked about this set is that it has a skin tone watercolor. And finally, we're down to my last watercolor set, which is my Prang watercolors. This set has 8 colors in it. I actually didn't expect that I would love this watercolor. 
it's moist and very pigmented and lately I have been really using this watercolor. This costs 295 pesos from National Bookstore and it is still budget friendly. And that's it. These are all my watercolor essential materials for beginners. I hope you liked my video and see you in my next vlogs. Thank you for watching!